Shi Wei Wang works at the Dongfeng Bookstore on Stockton Street. He immigrated to the United States two years ago from Shanghai and is now majoring in hotel management at City College of San Francisco. Wang hasn't been back to China since he arrived. He says that he often discusses this with his friends as to whether or not to stay in the United States. Wang thinks that he may move back to China after he becomes a citizen so as to use what he's learned in the U.S. job market to his advantage. We all think we may go back to China and live after becoming citizens of the U.S. because generally, our personal development is limited in the U.S. After a good start here, using the U.S. as a springboard, I may get better development back in China. I'll probably go back. Wang's maternal grandparents still reside in China. He says that they have declined moving to the United States because they would feel lonely and unfamiliar with the environment. They're really too old. They're over 80, so they don't really want to go anywhere else. We go back or call or send gifts to them on the holidays, but they don't want to come because they feel like they'll never get used to life here. Wang says that it's the cultural differences that prove to be overwhelming for his grandparents. Say language. If they watch TV, they don't understand the language. If they walk on the street, they don't have people to talk to. People here speak Cantonese, but my grandparents don't. It's really hard for people my grandparents' age to learn a new language. And they'll feel lonely. At least they can watch TV and have people to talk to in China. Old people miss their home country, their hometown, a lot. When they get old, they don't want to move to another house, let alone another country. All of Wang's paternal relatives live in the United States. His uncles work here to earn money, but his grandparents would much prefer to move back to China. Wang and his relatives' relationship with China poses some questions about the idea of what home means. Wang says that his home is in China. I think it's not about relatives. It's about home. The definition of home is what you have your own house. They still have their house in China, but they don't have one here. They don't have a good job here because of language and education problems, so they can't afford a house here. Even rent gives them a headache. Working in Chinatown doesn't necessarily mean that Wang is always in his element. There are various Chinese subcultures that exist to create the San Francisco Chinatown. Wang says that since most people come to Chinatown from Guangdong, there aren't many people from Shanghai. Therefore, he doesn't run into many people that he knows. It's said that San Francisco has many Chinese people from Guangdong, while in L.A., Chinese people are mostly from Shanghai, Beijing, and Fujian. Wang doesn't mind the unfamiliarity of San Francisco's Chinatown. In fact, he's interested in American culture and would prefer to soak up as much as possible. I want to know more about American culture because I want to live here for a long time. I think most American people here are very civilized and nice, but there are more odd people than in China. Odd people, like homeless people singing in the street. Will you see that in China? Never. Wang spends much of his time outside of Chinatown for this reason. I think Chinatown is quite noisy. Actually, the life of local people is very quiet and their mindset is very peaceful. Unlike here in Chinatown, that it's noisy and crowded. Of course, there are noisy and restless parts in American culture, but those parts usually come from the young. Though Wang is enthusiastic about American culture, he still thinks of himself as Chinese. I can't say I'm American because I live here. Many of my friends say, he's American, and I'll say, no, I'm Shanghainese, I'm not American. I think of myself as Chinese. As early as primary school, you taught something called sense of national pride. Even if you don't think so in your heart, even if you think the Communist Party is not good, you still think yourself as Chinese. Maybe 20 years from now, I'll think of myself as American. I think geographic culture is very important. What's more, I'll still say I'm Chinese when I get citizenship several years later. Citizenship doesn't mean you're American. You're still Chinese.